Okay, today's the 20th. Uh, I'd love to pick up about two more today just to make neat numbers. But uh, right down here is our water. We had that dog there last time. I remade that set. This set was messed up. I remade it, put in a clean set. Then I came up here and put in a clean set. Um, looks like a T-bone there, so I'm on a T-bone. All right, guys, see you down the line. Well, today is... It's the 21st of October, might be the 22nd, I'm not 100% sure. This here was a dirt hole, and that there is one of them uh, KO traps. It's my son's trap, Wyatt, and there's Wyatt's first coyote ever caught. Help me hammer in this dirt hole here. And there's his first coyote. Don't know what do you want to do with it? If it'll go to auction or if you're paying it or what? But there's the first coyote ever. I wish he was with me today. He's in school right now. So, very special coyote. Die. Wyatt, I wish you were here to share this. Die. All right. Second catch for the day. Uh, up here, up property boundary edge. There's a real good trail. Uh, kind of forks there. Comes together here. Also, we're looking at a draw feeding out down right there. All just feeds down right down there. I caught one first thing last year. Some hunter shot it. it was no good. I had to shoot about three times. Some hunters aren't very good shots. Um. Anyways, then that trap that messed with it. it. Looks like that trap got robbed. I don't know if it was this guy or not. But, so second catch for the day. So this is my other son's catch, raccoon. Um. Gonna have to let it go. It's panting awful hard. I think it's pretty thirsty. So we'll get it out of that trap. Let it go. What thirsty raccoon. They're just not prime yet. Season's not open, so let them go. Let them get some water. And then we'll catch them again later. In the meantime, we'll have to deal with them digging up our sets, probably. But that's what we gotta do, I guess. Alright, we'll see you guys down the line. Okay, last coyote was a female. I'm not sure on this one. This is a fighter dog, though. Uh, this was also a double dirt hole. Of course, it looked a lot better. I picked the flattest part here. Well, you can see where the trap is. Kind of a flat spot. We had both the slope, not much backing, but had a little bit of slope. Would have been, here's my screen. Would have been a spot kind of like this, if you can tell, where it had a good, nice flat spot. I punched dirt holes in. And I think I'm going to maybe try pulling that trap and moving it here. I don't know. Rather than trying to reconstruct this site. But uh, there's number two. This is also double dirt hole, range boss bait. GH2 and Violator 7, I'm using in combination with those. I think they ought to get mentioned because GH2 is a phenomenal lure, I find. But number two for the morning. So it's a good morning so far. All right, we'll see you guys down the line. Okay, my son's coyote, I said it was the 21st. It was actually the 22nd. Um, this is a urine post remake, second coyote here. Caught one around the corner of the truck here on a dirt hole. Remade that. On the clean set we got is a T-bone. I don't know if the wind comes like this at night or what. I would have thought this T-bone would have connected long before that urine post. That's two on the urine post. So we'll relure. We're reluring today. It's been seven days since we sat. And uh, got another one there. Get it taken care of. We make this, although our backing's completely gone now. We'll get it redone. See, yeah, I just want to show this set real quick. Uh, my traps in here, levers are like this. So I just made that divot a little bit better. And I put a rock right there. This is a, I call it a double dirt hole. It's really only a dirt hole and I got a little punch hole. I just put lure under that. Uh, the coyotes have worked this at least once, maybe twice. The deer fired it first thing. We re-bedded it. I'm not catching them. So this time, instead of putting lure on the outside blocking, I put it over here. This set, there's, you know, a gradual trail going that way. And then on this side, um, we've got brush. There's a trail that comes up over there. Um, there's trails that run along there. And then this road, of course. Uh, last time I had two sets down there, and they mainly caught coon, but eventually picked up a coyote. I just put a urine post in there last check. Um, so I shoved some grass in the hole here, rebaited it, added that rock and made that divot better. And then I don't have any scent out here. I'm there, there, and there. So if the coyote works it from this side, it has to get to that hole. 
hopefully he'll step. If he comes from this side to get to that scent, he's going to have to step to there. Um, hopefully pull him over. That's the beauty of a double dirt hole. Normally you'd have a hole and a hole. And they can't work both holes without crossing over the trap. So uh, not having real good luck on this set, but they're definitely here and around. Uh, and this is that range of boss bait. They seem to be liking it because they're digging it out nicely. So we'll see. Hopefully this gets it done. See you guys down the line. Okay, today's the 24th. Uh, this is actually a remake. Of course, not not horrible this time even. Uh, this dog's tired. He must have been here a couple days now. I was out here two days ago. He wasn't in here. Um, we've got this trail coming out of there. It's a double punch baited with uh, Andy Weezer's uh, range boss bait. Like I said, the second one we caught here. So we'll get him taken care of and uh, get on down the line. My son put a trap right along the fence there, which that's woven wire, so I think a good location. And my wife's got a trap right here, and it was dug up when we had the first coyote here. First coyote here also had a touch of mange on his back. This one looks pretty good. A little rough. It rained last night, so like I said, I think cold, tired dogs. So we'll get him out of here and get on down the line. Okay, so catch circle, remake. I threw a bunch of the dirt over here, so the trap ain't the only contaminated thing. But I ain't gonna reconstruct. There's my double dirt hole. Outside blocking, bait in one hole, lure in the other. I lure to the side here and on the end of that chewed up stick. Uh, I would prefer a little better flatter edge, but they're just this is all on the side hill. The best trails are actually up there. And of course at night the wind's gonna be blowing downhill. But they could easily come mousing through all this or working along the edge here. So it is what it is. Um, I just have a heck of a time trying to catch on the side hill like that. And then I'm fighting deer out here. I got a fire trap right down by that lone tree. I got to go down and fix already. So try to keep them not right on the deer trails. But there's the remake. See you guys down the line. Okay, my son caught a skunk there. We shot it, dispatched it, let it cool down a little bit. And I already had this other set, and this is my other son, my oldest son, Carson. Carson, there's your first coyote, buddy. And he is fighting this thing. He can't... Yeah, well, that's not a coyote, Bridger. Well, this is the same set we caught the fox in on the first check here. And uh, T-Bone, John Graham, Cat Creek. I think this had Bonanza Mile on it. Also, just a note, like most nights we're not freezing here, but it's awful close. I went to putting everything in wax dirt. All oh, my uh, remakes going to wax dirt now. Just so when that temperature finally does snap, or on them cold nights, the traps are still working because those cold nights seem to be when they move the most. So, Last fox we caught was nine pounds. This one will probably be that or hair under. This one looks a little smaller. All right, see you guys down the line.